Good morning. You joined me from the trailer that I rented last night. I have had an awesome time. If I lived in the US, for sure, I would live in the trailer. It makes so much sense. Financially, the independence of it, that you have a whole home here. And if you rock up to a place and then you need to change because you work or you don't like your neighbors, you can simply just, the dining room de-extends inside of the trailer. And then all you do, is you hook it up here to the back of your tow truck and you just drive away it makes so much sense like in the uk caravans are a little bit tragic i love it. i've got a soft spot for caravans i grew up as a kid it was caravan holidays that i went on the entire time i had a great time as a kid but now it's a bit tragic what i'm going to do just now is uh, i had the gypsy moonshine last night and i'm actually embarrassed to admit how much of it i drank out of the litre and a half bottle. I'm so embarrassed, I'm actually going to put it in a dumpster so no one sees it. So it's time to check out. I think the lady said just to leave the keys in the trailer, but I'm going to go to reception and see if anyone's about. So I'm going to grab my bags. And I have my little bag of food for lunch. A man bag, and yeah, that's us. We're good to hit the road. The plan for today is we're heading to Utah, and we're going to go to a town called St. George because it was recommended to me when I was in Mexico by a girl in the hostel. So we're going to go to St. George and check it out. That's us, we've checked out of the RV park and we're ready to hit the road. When I went to give the key back, met this guy, I presume he works here, and he's like, where are you from? He's like, I'm from Scotland. He's like, I spent three years in Dun uh, Dunoon when I was in the Navy. And he starts telling him about his antics from Scotland and he imported his Oldsmobile over to, the, over to Scotland, was driving about with that. Hilarious guy. So we're gonna, ch uh, we're gonna leave just now and we're heading for St. George. But on the way out, I'm gonna do a US style drive-by of the trailer park so you can see what it's like but yeah like trailer parks get a bad rep but honestly if i was in the us i would definitely live in one it makes way more sense and you can see as well it's not like you got like a dodge charger over there like there's a lot of money sitting here in the vehicles most of them are empty just now because people are away out but yeah i could quite happily live here Maybe not on this specific trailer park because it is a bit in the wall. Look at that setup. Yeah, I could quite happily live here. Oh, is that a Mitsubishi GTO? Is it? Oh, look at that. A oh, 3000 GT. So that's us. We're leaving the, the RV park. Come back soon. Thank you. And the US flag. Yeah. Right, I think I've got about 300 miles to do and there's literally two turns between here and St. George. So it's a right and a left onto the highway and that's us. So I've been driving for a couple hours. I'm only about half an hour away from St. George, but I stopped to have a look at this view. Check this out. This looks absolutely amazing. We're still in Arizona. We're about to cross over the state line in Utah shortly. But check this view. This is unbelievable. It's one of the coolest places I've seen. I don't want to uh, walk too far and fall down the mountain. It's so cool. It's like a Wild West movie. I love it. Well, I made it to Utah. We're in St. George for the night. I checked into a Motel 6. When I arrived, I gave the guy my passport and he's like, we're talking for a couple of minutes. It's like, oh, you're from Germany. I'm like, no, I'm from I'm from Scotland, mate. I think he'd looked at the passport, seen that I was born in Munich, and he's like, oh, I know where that is. That's in Germany. This guy must be German. I'm like, no, not German. Anyway, I digress. 
the city of St George is about a mile or so away, it's not that far, but I've come up to this park for sunset, so we're going to have a look about just now. I have everything. Yeah. So check this place out. We've got the town just down there in the distance, but it's like Red Rock Park or something it's called. How cool is this? We're going to go for a wander just now and see what it has to offer. I heard this weird grunting noise. I was trying to work out what it was. I didn't want to get too close in case it was something that was going to attack me. <laughs> I reckon I could win in a fight. Hello, guy. There's another one. I thought maybe this was an escaped pet. I've never actually seen any in the wild before. There was one just up here as well. Let me try not to scare it. I wish I had a shell I could hide in. If I had my own shell, it'd save so much money in motels. It'd be ideal. And then when local people tried to speak to me, like, hey, where are you all from? I could just hide in my shell. I wouldn't have to worry about it. I need to try and invest in one. This place is so cool. It looks like it goes on forever, but it's like literally just a five minute drive from the town. I just came up here, parked the truck there, went for a walk, came here for sunset. I realized it was an hour behind as well i thought it was still 20 past five but it was 20 past six because i was looking at my watch but across the timeline or time zone when i was traveling so it was actually later than i expected which is good because it means the sun sets in like half an hour from now because i can't really be bothered hanging around and the truck's just down there so i don't have to worry about walking back in the dark I'm actually getting pretty bored now waiting for the sunset so I'm going to call this sunset and call it a night just now and head back to the Motel 6 via the Walmart because I do love my daily trip to Walmart just to walk around it's like going to the zoo anyway that's basically the end of my trip or the end of this road trip in the US because the pickup truck's got to go back not tomorrow but the day after so tomorrow I'm going to drive from St. George in Utah back to Vegas stay overnight in Vegas and then drop the truck off the following morning and I have literally zero plans after that. So I think I'm going to stay in a hostel for a couple of nights in Vegas. And then sometime in the next like four or five, six days, do something else. So I've got a couple of ideas so far. I was thinking about going to LA and hiring a car and driving up the 101 and doing like a California road trip. I was thinking about flying to uh, Alaska and just seeing what that's like there. I was thinking about going to Florida as well, like Tampa, somewhere like that or somewhere completely random in the US like and go up to like Alabama or Tennessee somewhere like that if you have any ideas or any suggestions like feel free to comment message me and uh yeah I might take you up on it because I've got no idea what I'm doing next so any ideas are greatly greatly appreciated so from now take care